Condensing osteitis definition it is a diffuse radio opaque lesion believed to present a localized bony reaction to a low grade inflammatory stimulus usually seen at the apex of a tooth in which there has been a long standing pulpal pathosis so in condensing osteitis it is a diffuse radio opaque lesion so it present as a localized bony reaction what it uh, causes the condensing osteitis low grade in inflammatory stimulus most commonly seen at the apex of the tooth it is a long standing pulpal pathosis these are the important point we have to remember and causes condensing osteitis is caused by mild irritation from the pulpal disease that stimulates the osteoblastic activity in the alveolar bone normally osteoblast or bone forming cells that's why in x ray they are shows radio opacity next moving on to symptoms usually asymptomatic there is no pain and other symptoms usually asymptomatic it is discovered during routine radiographic examination only so these are the symptoms it is asymptomatic diagnosis the diagnosis is made from radiographs it appears as a localized area of radio opacity surrounding the affected root so it is an area of dense bone with reduced trabecular pattern the condensing osteitis most commonly affect the mandibular posterior teeth it is very important condensing osteitis of mostly affected affect mandibular posterior teeth it is a localized area of radio opacity surrounding the affected root this this picture showing the radio opacity around the mesial root of mandibular first molar seeing uh, showing radio opacity so histopathology it appears as a area of dense bone with reduced trabecular borders lined with osteoblast so here osteoblast are lined the trabecular pattern and chronic inflammatory cells plasma cells and lymphocytes are seen in the bone marrow these are the cells are present in the bone marrow chronic inflammatory cells plasma cells and lymphocytes next moving on to treatment removal of the irritant stimulus is recommended so we have to remove the cause for the irritant and endodontic treatment should be initiated if the signs and symptoms if of irreversible pulpitis are diagnosed that is pulpitality test is no response then we go for endodontic treatment and in prognosis prognosis after rct is good the prognosis for a long term retention of the tooth is excellent if the root canal therapy is performed and if the uh, tooth is restored satisfactorily so lesions of condensing osteitis may persist after endodontic treatment so here the important point is we can only see the condensing osteitis in radiograph